Next question comes from Sandra, and she writes, Hi, Steve. With a few recent power outages under our belts, we're wondering how best to move forward. We live in a rural area and worry about our basement flooding if the sump pump doesn't have electricity. That's a very valid concern, Sandra. We currently have a backup battery and have a portable generator that my husband uses to keep us from flooding. My concern is what happens if we're away or if I'm here alone and unable to start the generator. We're wondering about options. We do not have water during a power outage as we have a well and in warmer weather we can make do but worry about a prolonged outage in winter. Well, that's a valid concern because people in the country, no electricity, no running water. Uh, we've heard of Generac but have been told that they're very expensive, maybe $11,000 to install and can blow through hundreds of dollars of propane quite quickly. What, are, what other options are out there? It seems like this is on the minds of many with climate change wondering the wisest way to proceed. Well, Generac is a brand name of what is called generically uh, automatic backup generators. And this is something I would recommend for you despite the concerns that you have, have offered here. Uh, these are um, stationary, enclosed uh, devices that sit outside your home. They're connected to a fuel source. That's either propane where you live or if a person has natural gas, you can connect to that as well. And then there are some uh, cables leading to your house and a separate panel, electrical panel in your house. Now, um, these things come on automatically if the grid goes down. They shut themselves off automatically when the grid comes back and they provide very complete power. Um, basically almost everything that you, you could use in your house, depending on the size of the stationary backup generator. I mean, some are small. You might have to pick and choose what you use when that thing's providing you with power. Um, others are large and you probably wouldn't have to change your lifestyle at all. Um, $11,000 to install, I think that's a little on the high side. Um, they have, these units have gotten a lot cheaper uh, over the last 10 or 15 years. A lot of people are getting them. So you won't find a more reliable, secure way of protecting your, your basement from flooding if you're not around or your husband's not around to connect the generator. As far as operating costs go, um, operating any generator is going to be much more expensive for a unit of power created compared with the grid. Um, the grid is, um, it's got some problems, it's got some vulnerabilities, but in terms of providing cheap power, it's, it's an excellent option. It really um, does deliver that way. So I have two recommendations for you. One recommendation would be to go with a backup generator. That's going to be your once and for all solution. Um, if you bite the bullet and, and pay the cost, I don't think you'll regret that at all. And don't forget, too, that the amount of fuel that a generator consumes is somewhat proportional to the amount of power you're demanding. So now, yes, the generator is going to fire up and it's going to run full blast whether you are using just a 100-watt light bulb or roasting a turkey. The generator is going to be running at the same speed, but that doesn't mean it's consuming the same amount of fuel. The harder you work that generator, the more fuel it's going to have to burn in order to maintain its RPM. So there is a proportion there. It's not like if you use no power and your generator is running, you're not using any fuel because you are using some. But um, you know the, the worry you have about this thing sucking back vast amounts of fuel, um, you don't really have to worry about that. It really comes down to how much electricity you use and also how long the outage is, of course. But it sounds like you're concerned and a stationary backup generator is going to satisfy that concern perfectly. Now there are, there are backup sump pumps that have a, a built-in battery and they will run for a number of hours after the power goes out. But a number of hours might not be enough. I mean, as you probably recognize, uh, it's one thing to keep the water at bay for a few hours, but when that battery dies then you know, you might as well not have had a sump pump. So there are additional backup battery banks that you can use for this sort of thing. And they're becoming more and more common. Uh, they're generically called portable power stations. 
And they're essentially a high output lithium battery in a case with an inverter and other control equipment that allows you to basically just carry uh, AC power around in your hand and, and, to, uh, and, and to use it wherever you want. And you can use it for other things too. These portable power stations are great for providing um, charging capabilities for your phone, your computer. Uh, I ran a test on one recently uh, specifically to see how long it would uh, it would run a water pump, a, a rural water well pump like the kind you have. And I found that a fully charged unit, moderate size, will keep that water pump going uh, for a day. Now it's not running constantly of course, the, the water pump only comes on as you need water. But um, that's another option and it could be used, it could be left connected to your sump pump to provide a whole bunch of additional backup power for that pump beyond any battery that might be part of the sump pump's own system um, and expand things that way. But um, other than those two options, I think that's pretty well it. The, um, I would certainly urge you to consider that, that backup generator. I think it's gonna give you the best, the best bang for the buck. Mm -hmm.